Greetings, my name's Craig Toe. I'm an activist for Fully Informed Jury Association, and you're watching CreativeUnderground.tv. Don't be shy, you can take a free brochure out of my hand. Why should the ATF harass you for owning a firearm? Become a juror. Take one. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Please read and circulate to others. Hey, greetings. My name's Craig Tote. I'm an activist for Fully Informed Jury Association, and we're at Holiday Park in beautiful Fort Lauderdale on Saturday, January 22nd, 2011, in which the War Memorial Auditorium is having the Corley Suncoast Gun Show. Well, the main idea of what we do is get people to know their rights as a juror when you go to court. And in these places, they claim that we're soliciting. We're not making any profits. We're doing everything legal under Chapter 3 of City Ordinance of Fort Lauderdale. If you want more information on it, go to munico.com. And it's all plain and simple. In addition, we have these, the Supreme Law of the Land, the U.S. Constitution, Amendment 1, and the Constitution of the State of Florida, Article 1, Declaration of Rights, Section 4 and 5. This is my documentation that represents my natural born rights. The state shouldn't tell you how to think, you have a conscience. So if you want a brochure, go ahead. You can take one out of my hand for free. If not, go to FIJA.org. No victim, no crime. Fully informed jury association. Free information on your rights, which the judge won't tell you. Don't be shy. I'm not here to get paid. I am volunteering on my own time. There's usually this is brochures we pass out at gun shows and of other civil rights um, organizations or functions. And it tells you about how can you supersede the laws in the books, which you believe is considered illegal. It happened with Bernard Getz. They tried to get him for murder. He'd been mugged a while back during that time in the 80s. Then the, the few of the assailants were asking for five dollars each and they had screwdrivers in their hands. They're not using them to go to work. They were usually gonna take somebody out. The so Bernard Getz had no choice and shoot the individuals. Two of them died and one of them was paralyzed. When they brought it into the criminal court system, the jury even, even said not guilty because they, they had enough evidence stating that these gentlemen were habitual criminals and they didn't even care. They want to take everyone for granted, including witnesses that even that were black. It doesn't matter about race, but they only use the race issue. And she said they got what they deserve. I see him do it all the time. So the message can be sent. Any firearm laws is considered illegal, 25,000 of them. You can say not guilty to the accused. One person can hang a jury. In addition, even the grand jury, you could not, you don't have to indict them. If you believe what that person did was illegal on his natural born rights, you could say, hey, don't indict him, acquit. That's what powers of a jury is. You say I have a comrade of mine named Scott Kuna, right? That's how yeah. I pronounce my yeah. pronouncing name. And I'm glad he showed up. He wants to, you know, represent Fully Informed Jury Association. So what is your motive for being here? Well, my motive is to uh, stem the tide of tyranny by informing the good folks that uh, are going to serve on the juries of what their, their duties and their obligations are to their fellow citizens and, in fact, what their rights are in judging the law uh, so that they are not just judging someone as to whether or not they broke a unjust law, but whether or not the law itself is just, and uh, so that they'll use the full power that the jury has and was enshrined with when the country was created. I recommend to the people in the state of Florida that uh, you know they stand up for their rights, otherwise they won't ha they'll be taken away, and uh, you know we'll be living in a police state uh, unless you know we flex our rights and we know the laws and uh, we enforce the law 
of the land and not the law of the government knows best people that uh, want to control uh, every facet of our lives and protect us from ourselves. Uh, you know, I believe that personal responsibility uh, and self-government trumps the nanny state and, uh, and the big brother mentality. Okay, good. One more question. So, and, um, there was rumors that uh, President Obama is going to have a State of Union address to, to push for tougher farm laws because of what occurred in Tucson, Arizona. Right. Uh, what's, your, what's your statement on that? Well, my statement on that is uh, if more people had been exercising their right to bear arms, then uh, that tragedy could have been prevented or possibly uh, stopped. Uh, before this guy ran out of bullets by a armed citizen that was defending himself. Okay, very good. Well, here you have it, man. Thank you, Mr. Kunis. The state shouldn't tell you how to think. You have a conscience. So if you want a brochure, go ahead. You can take one out of my hand for free. If not, go to FIJA.org. No victim, no crime. Fully informed jury association. You know, it was really, really mind-boggling about this sign. It said, one, reward $1,000, help the Fort Lauderdale Police Department stop gun violence. Violent crime should be the key, not gun violence. Because it, if you look at the crime statistics with the Department of Justice, more people in Florida are murdered by someone else's bare hands than a firearm. Okay, and even um, not non-firearm related material. But they will mainly focus on gun violence. And on all due respect, that's considered partiality or bias. And what we need to do is let the citizens know that this is what they're going after, in my opinion. Firearms, not crime. You got to do across the board. Notice and, it says illegal firearms. Right. So we, what we need to do is let people know that violent crime is the key, not gun violence. And to be very sincere, it's the citizens of the United States of America. They have a duty to prepare themselves from all forms of tyranny. If you leave all your security eggs in the hands of the government, it could be the road to blowback. If you study 20th century genocide, such as what happened with, Tur with the Armenians in Turkey, the German people in Germany and Europe, Soviet Union, mainly Ukraine, most of the Ukrainians, the individuals from um, Uganda, and of course the latest one, you, um, Rwanda, where around 800 to a million people got slaughtered with machetes by tyrannical thugs around, um, I would say, on around April to June of 1994. And what the first thing they took advantage of? Victim disarmament. They were law in the books before they got in power, and they took advantage of it and started chipping it away. We're not supposed to trust the government, but watch them in good faith. Once again, this is Craig Tote, an activist for Fully Informed Jury Association, and you're watching creativeunderground.tv. Thank you for your time. If you want more information on this prestige organization, please go to the website at www.fija.org or call 1-800-T-E-L-J-U-R-Y, also known as Tell Jury, only with one L. Thank you, folks, and positive blessings. Make, make, make.